Hi, I'm Georgie Mullins and I'm a makeup artist in Brisbane and I have just filmed my 5 to 10 minute makeup look with all of my favourite products. Um, I wear this to work every day. I do love doing get ready with me's and this is a bit of a get ready with me for work and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So starting out with my Naked Sundays um, 50 plus broad spectrum UVA UVB. This is their mineral sunscreen and I look I really love all of the really thin beautiful sunscreens but I just personally can't use them because I'm allergic to them so um, it's just better for me to use a physical sunscreen that has zinc in it but it just means that my my sunscreen is always going to be very thick underneath my makeup but it's worth wearing the sunscreen to stay youthful as long as possible. Whenever I'm using sunscreen I always like to bring it down my neck as well and really make sure, especially if your hair is up, you want it to go right around to the back of your neck. And as you can see I've got quite a few breakouts at the moment so we will be covering all of those up. Okay, this might be a random tip, but something that really helps me are baby wipes. I really love taking all my sunscreen off my hands with baby wipes. And the reason why I don't love using my hands for makeup is because I don't like the feeling of putting it on with my hands. So having baby wipes around are really, really handy. They're also fragrance free so you can take your makeup off with them and because they're fragrance free they don't have they're not as harsh as makeup remover wipes and they're actually so much cheaper as well which is amazing okay so after SPF I've been going in with either the MAC fix plus um, and this is just like a setting spray that sort of has glycerin in it and it's just going to sort of refresh your skin and you can actually use this like if I haven't put makeup on in the, at the start of the day, I might put this on and then start my makeup after. Um, but something that I've been using on my clients recently is the La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. And you can get the Evian ones. And then also there's Aveen does a beautiful one as well. It's just spring water. But this actually helps your skincare sort of sink in better. So having one of these... And just doing a quick spritz of water before you do your skincare. This product allows the serums and the moisturizers that you put on to sink in more, which means that you are getting more out of your skincare. So having something like this on the side of your basin or on your vanity when you're getting ready in the morning and then also at night time before you put your nighttime skincare routine on is so handy. So recently with my makeup, I've been wanting to do really fast makeup in the morning just to get ready and sort of, I leave myself about 20 minutes, but usually if I can push through in 15 or 10, then that's amazing. So something that has been really great are these bronzing drops. These are from Emco Beauty and they are sort of a dupe for the drunk elephant ones, but you seriously need the smallest amount. And then I'm just going to take my cream buffer brush from Chenille J and just take this from my hand straight on my brush and I like to go underneath my cheekbone and then on the sides of my face where my temple is and then also on the tops of my forehead just to give a real sun kiss glow I also, I, like I love cream contour products, um, but this one is just easy. You can put it on with your fingers if you want to. And then also you can just, especially for fair to medium skin, this product is really like a great everyday product. And usually what has happened to me is that the drunk elephant ones from Mecca have been sold out, so I haven't been able to purchase them. But this one has been really good so and then whatever's left on my brush I like to go underneath my jawline to create sort of a little bit of contour and then down the sides of my nose 
So because today is all about quick makeup, we're not going to go in with any more bronzing product, but there are definitely some products that I love for cream contour that are a little bit more pigmented for days that you want a bit more of a full glam. And I use those products in my kit. So this concealer actually is such an amazing concealer. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And it's got a really great amount of coverage. And then what I like to do also is just put this, put it a little bit on the places where I want a little bit of coverage. But because today I'm not going in with a foundation as such, I'm just going to put this in the places where I need it and I've put my bronzer on so that will give me sort of a bit of colour and then coverage as well. So I like to let that sit on my skin and then I'm just going to buff this out. This is the Tennille J number one base brush from her volume one collection. And because it's been sitting on my skin a little bit, it just gives it time to sort of stick to your skin and also it gives you more coverage, which is incredible. But the only thing is you have to sort of let it sit for a little bit. So you have to maybe do something for a minute while you're letting it sit. And I sort of like to spread it out first under my eyes and then just wait a little bit, maybe go into a different area. Allow that to sort of give me a little bit more coverage. And then even though this brush is quite big, I just really like it because it gets the job done faster. And I just go around my eye. I'm really trying to correct any darkness in this area here and so that is just going to help bring the concealer up through my eye socket and then underneath the eye making sure that it's all blended in. Another tip with the baby wipes is I like to sort of take it off my hand but also my brushes I really love doing just a quick clean and it just takes any of the really like solid product out of it and then I can go in and I know that tomorrow it's not going to be as dirty as if I had it today. I'm going to turn this down so you guys can see my skin texture a little bit more. I think that's a bit better. So because I like to use cream products I've got the Mecca Cosmetica Hydra Cheek Tint in the shade Blossom. There's actually four of these and they're really beautiful products. So I'm just taking some on my ring finger and just doing a little dot on each side. And then I'll take the um, Illuminator, which is beautiful and just really lovely on all skin tones. And I'm going to use my brush that I blended out my bronzer with. And that's just going to, I'm going to also push it over the top of my concealer so that it's just blended in a little bit more. So it's just making sure that you've got really beautiful colour on the areas of your face where you're, where you naturally blush or you naturally get tan. If I need this makeup to last all day, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and I'm going to be taking a powder puff. This one's from Tennille J. I really love her powder puffs because they're easy to wash and you can reuse them and everything. So I just take a bit of powder and I'm going to press this under my eyes and then also on my blemishes because I do not want those parts of my makeup to move when I want extra staying power because I just don't want to have to touch up during the day. 
So that's it for the Laura Mercier powder. But what I like to do is use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder to sort of take off any extra powder that I have on from Laura Mercier. And then also I like to be able to set it with the ambient lighting powder. So this is a palette that was out a few years ago. And these two are, this is the ambient lighting powder in dim light. And I really love this color. And so I sort of mix these two together. And this is on a Tennille J number no. five brush. And I just like to kick off any powder that's under there. And then also just setting all of the places that I want. To. So usually I just set the rest of my face with this powder. It gives you a really glowy, dewy finish, which I absolutely love. And it just doesn't make your skin look cakey or powdery. So this is a time that I'd add a bit of extra colour if I wanted to. So just going to go into this bronzer in the Hourglass palette and go along my cheekbones, along my forehead and on the temples. So anywhere that you sort of want to bring back to life after putting that powder down, maybe just a bit under the jaw. just to give the illusion of no double chin and then also just a bit down the sides of the nose and then I love to take this bronzer through the crease of my eye so if you're new to makeup and you don't really know what to do something that I absolutely love doing is taking a fluffy brush and using my bronzer and just going through the crease of my eye with windscreen wiper motions. So just buffing it in. And it just gives a bit of colour to your eyes. And because I have hooded eyes, so it just means that this part here is hooded, I'm going to just go over. So when I look up, it looks like my eye finishes here, but it actually finishes up here. So I'm just going to go over into the hood bit, just so that it makes my eyes look a little bit more open. I'm also going to put this on the outer third of my eye. And then any of the leftover, I'm going to put underneath. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to have your palette lower than your face and look down into the mirror and you'll be able to see where your crease is naturally and then when you look straight ahead you then will be able to see where you might need to put a bit of extra colour to make it a little bit more defined and just also making sure that they're even. Just with my powder brush while I have this I'm just going to put a little bit of this blush onto my cheeks I feel like you can't really know whether you've got too much or too little blush on until you're a little bit more into your makeup and you sort of can then judge whether you need a bit more colour or it's okay Okay, so anyone who knows me knows I love a little bit of shimmer. This is from Mellow Cosmetics. I really love their glitter chrome eyeshadows and this is in the shade Champagne, which is a beautiful like pinky silvery colour. And I'm just going to put this on the inner two thirds of my eye. And again, I really love looking down into a mirror to apply this so that I can see what I'm doing. But this shade is just beautiful. Now for brows, I just love going in with a tinted brow gel. So this one's from Glossier. You can now actually buy these 
in Australia online. They used to only be a London and US brand, but now you can buy Glossier from it and get it shipped to Australia, which is so exciting. But it's just so fast and quick and they're filled in and there's no fuss really. I'm really happy with like a tinted brow gel just for every day. I like to have a spoolie um, just on hand just in case I sort of go a bit crazy or I accidentally put a bit too much on and I just like to go in before it dries and just quickly make sure that it's all even and it's not too heavy. Okay, so I have been using the Emco Beauty Extend Lash basically exclusively until I got a beauty loop box with the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara in it. And this is the most amazing tubing mascara. It is fully tubing. It doesn't have the black base that will smudge, which is amazing. Um, so I ended up buying the full version of it. And because I have a lash lift at the moment, I'm really just focusing at the root of my lashes. I just want them to all sort of separate nicely. And this formula is amazing. I would highly recommend if you have sensitive eyes and you like aren't great at turning over your mascara, I would highly recommend getting the sample because you're going to be more likely when it finishes to get another one and it's also going to last you a little while and then you will be able to turn it over. Well, which was the reason why I love getting the Emco Beauty one because it's sort of quite cheap and it's great because you can turn it over faster. So as a makeup artist, it's really important for me to keep turning over my makeup, um, especially my mascaras. Um, and they are fully sanitized anyway, but the mascara is the first thing to go off. And especially if you have very sensitive eyes or you wear glasses, it's probably really great for you to be turning over your mascara even more regularly than other people. Okay, so with a long wearing lipstick, I usually opt for a pencil liner because this will not bleed and it will also stay on your lips for as long, for a lot longer than anything that is emollient. So this is 90s Nude from Rimmel. I sort of like to just fill in my lips a bit, just so there's no harsh lines. And then on top of that, I really love using the Pout Pop lipsticks from Mecca Max. These are the lipsticks that look like they are a bit balmy and they're sheer lipstick formulas. This one here is called Reality Check and it's a beautiful sort of brownie nude um, but I love this as an everyday colour and they smell beautiful and they're super comfortable so the reason why I actually find some lipsticks aren't comfortable at all so I'd rather wear something that's very comfortable that I top up during the day and then I make sure that I have a lip liner on underneath so when this fades then I will then um, be able to top this up um, but as it fades I've still got the lip color underneath but these are great for not drying out your lips and they're super like great for just having like a glossy balm look. Okay, another thing that I really love doing, and I've been doing this for ages, is setting my face with the setting spray. And this is the All Nighter one from Urban Decay. It comes in all different sizes, but I really love sort of the mini size. But this one just locks your face in all day. I just really think it makes the biggest difference. There's setting sprays that are really great for locking in your makeup and then there are setting sprays that are really great for sort of helping your powders to all blend into your skin but this locks in my makeup 
all day and because I don't love touching up my face during the day this is the perfect option for literally probably 16 to 20 hour wear and I definitely put this like on every day that I have a big day or a big shoot or whatever because I know my makeup will stay on and then the powder puff as well is really great way that I know everything's going to be locked in and then the lip liner as well is something that I do to make sure that even when the lipstick rubs off or it's um, then I still have some color on my lips so there's sort of a few things in here that I really do to make sure that my makeup stays all day Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is literally my 10 minute glam get ready with me for work. I just can pump this out now which is so exciting because it's very simple but it stays all day which is so so important to me. So if you guys learned anything or if you have any questions please comment them down below. I would love to hear what your everyday makeup looks like and also please like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Bye!